Uh, hey folks, uh, Ryan and Jeff here. Howdy. Uh, we're looking at uh, Sleeping Dogs for the Xbox 360. Sleepy Dogs. We've got a, uh, a preview copy of the game. This is out August 14th, so it's just around the corner, but uh, this, is a little, not the, this is not final. Uh, so keep that in mind while we're taking a look at the game. So Sleeping Dogs has a pretty lengthy and storied development history in that uh, it originally started at Luxaflux uh, as a game called Black Lotus with a female protagonist, yeah. uh, which is not this dude at all. It then became a true crime game, and then it became true crime uh, uh, Hong Kong. Yeah. And in that process, it was handed over from Luxaflux uh, to United Front Games. Uh, and then it got canceled entirely, and then it got bought by Square Enix, who then renamed it to Sleeping Dogs, uh, and stripping it of its tenuous connection to the uh, the true crime series, as it were. Do you think those sweet pants were the, that survived all versions? Are you asking if these sweet pants were in the very beginning of, like, like this is the one thing that was in all? Because if I was going to make this game, well, the first thing I would want to know is, like, that I can have some sweet-ass track pants. This lady... I'm not going to sell any more sweet pants. I bought these pants, and uh, I actually get some sort of, like, gangland bonus for these pants. Okay, all right. Because uh, I am playing as Wei here. He is an undercover cop. He uh, grew up in Hong Kong uh, and then moved to San Francisco, became a cop, and now he's back in HK trying to bust up the triad. He's uh, in his old neighborhoods and any way you want it. That's, that's the way you need the it. way you need it. Yeah, that's the way the song goes, Jeff. It's very astute of you. Thank you. So this is a you know open it's world. It's my observational stuff. Open that, uh, world hits, criminal hits action hardest, game. I think. Anyway, I'm gonna press it up here because it's bugging me in the corner there. I got yeah. a cell phone. Okay. I can look at stuff. Look at me. I'm looking at my cell phone. She's looking at her cell phone. It's just like real life. Man. Everyone's walking around the streets looking at their cell phones. Take me to the social hub. I'm not looking to where the social hub does not work yet because that requires. You have to. If you buy a can of Dragon Kick, do you learn extra karate moves? Uh, no, but if I buy a can of Dragon Kick, which I, I'll go ahead and do. I've got 30 bucks or 30 now. Hong Kong dollars. Hey, bring your friends. Maybe we can have a party. Yes. So you'll find uh, stuff like, like Dragon Kick as well as food stands here. That gives me increased damage. You see there's that little ring around the fist there in the corner? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that'll, that'll actually dissipate over time. Yeah. So, stuff like that. I also like that he just, you know, just like said, screw it, drank that can, killed it, just crushed it. And then just dropped it right there in front of the lady that sold it to him. Just yeah. no nothing. It's Hong Kong, baby. I'm going to eat this bowl of soup. I'm going to get some health regeneration out of it. All right. Again, fuck that just bowl. I don't care. Hey, Stupid bowl. Hey. Uh. So this is uh, pretty early in the game. This is before it, it be, kind of opens up into the, the real open world stuff. So uh, I'm going to do a little, little side mission here. This guy's a bootleg DVD seller. Okay. You know where he's at? Yeah, he just passed the food stand around the corner. He's gonna tell me what's up. You can see he's got his little ticker up there. You see there's that prompt at the bottom of the screen. This game is way into uh, some version of sort of parkour free running, which- uh, It's way into Hong Kong action movies of you just jumping over some tables and stuff. Yes, that's, uh, in fact, that's what is about to go down. It's kind of one of the set piece things in Sleeping Dogs is uh, the chase, uh, you know, chase or be chase sequences. In this case, I'm going after this dude, Ming. So now I'm just holding down the A button to sprint. I've got, you know, direct control with the, the left stick, but okay. it's pretty straightforward. Prompts come up like that. I tap the A button again, and uh, that lets me do a little, little jazzy business there. Pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to chase this dude, and there's going to be a fight. I don't mean to spoil anything for you, what? but that's pretty much what's going to happen. You can admire me in my sweet pants again. I'm just going to jump over that. That, that cool guy got it. an eyeful of your, your my elbow pants yeah. there and your elbow. He shouldn't have been standing there then. Yeah. That's, that's on oh, him. Oh, shit! Right. Seems like it would hurt. Yeah, he really shrugs that one off. That was definitely a, a little... Oh, see, oh that guy. he's just got that guy and held him the whole time. Just waiting. Threw him at me. Like, yo, that's kind of messed up. And if my, you know, it's pretty forgiving, but it, I definitely noticed that if my, uh, my my button press here is not quite spot on, uh -huh. it uh, it does not work quite right. Sort of like this, uh, this little scripting bug here, which uh, we're just gonna ignore for the second here. Not the final version of the game. Not the final version of the game. Hey, buddy. How's it going? 
Uh. Huh. Well. There we go. Okay. So obviously that's not going to happen. He needs to be killed. Right. Hope not. Uh, it did not happen the first time that I did this. Okay, I should, I should know. So, uh, simple kind of group combat system here. I'm hitting X to do my basic attacks. When these guys light up red, I can hit Y to do a little counter. Um, and right. there's a big focus on environmental stuff. So let me get over near here, near this dumpster. I'm gonna grab this guy with the B button. Yeah, right. grab him with the B button. All right, that's not the, that's not the spot. But I can still throw him against that. He does not care for it. Over here, he's not a fan. He's not a fan. All right, so let me grab this dude. Oh. Ew. Beat my ass. Remember to hit people. Yeah. I might just have to counter this guy first. One of those. Grab that guy. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, again. And uh, all, all the while here, I'm getting... Uh, you see those little triangles in the corner here that are building up. I'm getting both kind of cop points and triad points based on my behavior. So, uh, throw yeah, a guy's face into that fan over there. Oh, oh, that didn't go well at all for me. Kick this dude on the floor, I don't care. Grab the thug into the dumpster. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do before. Ah, but now I get to do that to get up here and keep chasing me. What a waste this guy's! Take him out! The only able to hire him to fuck you up! I always got a knife. Hmm. That's... So, some, some light grappling, some simple combo system. If I hold down the button, I can do a stronger kick attack. Okay. Uh, you know, kind of a counter system. All, all things that it introduces pretty, uh, pretty seamlessly in the first, uh, first few minutes of the game. What was, uh, we got a little... That you're getting the glow. I think I've got the glow here. I've got the shine. Hey, there we go. Oh, that face into the fan. That would be unpleasant. He did not like it. Oh, and that's oh wow. That guy doesn't like that either. Oh, that's way worse. Again, I'm getting great uh, triad points for this stuff. <laughs> How, do you get a lot of cop points for sticking dudes' faces into fans? I don't think so. No. I'm gonna kill you. Stop like a bull guy. Ah! Oh. All right. On. Guys, sticking you pretty good. Oh, and I think. Yep. Oh. He's <laughs> good loud scream. All right, slow mo. I think means yeah. Sequence over. He is finished. Oh. Dog guys gonna kill you. Fuck dog guys. See, so, you know, I'm still currently proving myself with my gang by beating the hell out of this other gang. Okay. Please, make sure please show up, and I'm all. Okay. Uh, do the locals know that you're uh, a cop? No. Okay. No, as far as everyone is concerned, they kind of introduced me into the world of Hong Kong as a as a, a criminal. And they're gonna arrest me here, so they're they're keeping up. Uh, Keeping up airs. So a certain, no, that's what I'm saying. Do, do, do those cops know? Those okay. cops might no, not know, I'm but Inspector there Chief. is there are cops on the inside who know. Okay. Multiple arrests in San Francisco, alleged ties to organized crime. This lady doesn't know. And now you're. We're gonna skip on past this. In fact, I think we're gonna go ahead and jump ahead to a little bit further into the game. All right. Show you a little more of the the open worldiness of it. Once I can. It's just a game with a, a lot of, uh, maybe not a lot by my current standards, but hey, you see, I got my cop score, I got my triad score, my face experience. I'm not sure what all this stuff You've means. You've got a yet. level one face. Uh, I do know that there were certain things in the uh, 
the apparel store that I could not buy because my face level was not high enough. Ah. You need to save up some face. You gotta have a better face. Your face is, and I like also that uh, like everything that's in the apparel store is all very explicitly bootleg versions of other oh, products. Awesome. It's all fake brand names, yeah. but it's it, it just in the in the item descriptions it just says like bootleg <laughs> knockoff. So you know, keep it at real Hong Kong. Okay. We'll, we'll get out of this uh, part here. We'll go and go straight back to the main menu. We'll do this mid-game here. This is uh, some hot business here. Hold A to sprint. In case you were wondering. It's my I, I already mentioned that. It's my advice to you, though. I said that already. No, I, I'm, I'm, we're both aware that you can sprint. I'm just saying hold A to sprint. All right, fair enough. I don't have to get all uppity and angry about it. Oh, what I was saying earlier, though, a uh, lot of uh, a, a number of of named actors uh, appearing in this mm. <sighs> unlocks new races. So we'll get on out of here. Go pick up one of my cars out of the parking garage, and then we'll go. Uh, I don't know, do some stuff. Are you holding A to sprint? No. It explicitly asked. I know. Well, if I wanted to sprint, I would sprint. Right now, I just want to walk around. Jack this guy's little Vespa. But I'm not going to do that. Hey, what can I do for you? I'd rather go into my garage and get one of my sweet cars. All right. Which sweet car do you think I would look best at driving the streets of Hong um, Kong in? How about that uh, Drifter GT? Yeah, this is what I was doing earlier, too. Here. How's the uh, in-game music slash radio stuff? <laughs> a lot of uh, Chinese rap, as far as I can tell. All right. And this car, definitely, this is me holding down the B button. You want to do some side showing. Indeed. See what else is going on. Yeah, Kerrang has a radio station. Of course. So doing stuff like that is going to lower my cop rating immediately and significantly. Oh. Any sort of property damage. Uh, and since this is Hong Kong, i got to drive on the other side of the freaking street. Ridiculous. Which, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can get into the bank going. Also, it's a right-hand drive car. Nice. What's going on? Makes your face meter feel a bit faster. All right. Hey there. Looking to treat yourself? I can give you more than you can imagine. All right. I mean, who could resist you? I'm feeling especially naughty tonight. You're going to help me with that? This does not look like a reputable massage parlor. I tell all my customers they're amazing, but this time. Look at my I face meter, though. Ah, uh, yeah. You're gonna earn so much face now. I'm all faced up, ready to face. Car's kind of screwed up. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of screwed the car. What's, uh, what's going on over here? Is this the place? Nothing on the map for it. This, there's this blue circle. That's not me. Oh. Trying to figure know. out what that is. Not that place. Hold it, sprint. I just, I, yeah, I did that. I just did it. Oh. Just doing that. All right, whatever. Is that a guy? A guy, I gotta go find. Just do cops show up that way? Is that a. Uh, that might just be, yeah. Uh... Hey, cop. Hey. 
Hey. Hey. Hey. What's going on? Huh? Huh? Maybe, huh? maybe you should punch him. No. You're right. Hey, cop! <laughs> All right, later. Nice going. Well, I'm at it. Yep. But, I, but I'm still putting on my helmet. Always wear a helmet. Folks always wear a helmet. Even if you're not riding a motorcycle. By Emica, followed by darker than blue from London-born Andrea Triana. That's followed by Loka's self pen safe self tester. Here on Ninja. I'm gonna Chimera. escape the cops while doing a wheelie. Yeah, that's how I roll. That's how it's done. In Hong Kong. Uh huh. It's a right-hand drive motorcycle. So be careful. Oh. You don't seem to be losing these cops. I thought I was going to lose these cops a lot faster. Yeah. Oh. Persistent. The cops don't like it when you punch other cops, it turns out. Yeah. They frown on that. They're not into it. <laughs> well. Oh. oh hey, That's, hey. He's had enough. Hey, He's hey. Like, hey. I know we were having, you know, funsies earlier, but, uh, look, I'm just going to shoot you. No more goofing around. Oh, that's, he oh, hello. That's, no, I'm good. Oh. I got this. Nope, 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 I'm okay. This looks like an open world game. Yeah. How's the, uh, the, how are the missions and how's the, what do you actually find yourself doing? Uh, a lot of kind of what you saw earlier, but also some gunplay. Okay. So that's, that's kind of the, the thing I want to show off in this mid game uh, stuff but that I got into punching cops. in trouble with the law. Ran down. It happens. Do you have a gun? Uh, no, nah, not at this moment. Uh, I will get one though. I was going to say, because you can make that cop problem go away real quick. I don't think that's what that would do. What? You know what? Fuck that helmet. Ah. World looks all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I don't know if it uh, matches the... True crime, uh, streets of LA level of verisimilitude. That's only because there's no convention center that we've been to for them to put in this game. You know? Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I will say, I will gladly admit that it's because I don't know Hong Kong. Oh, this is a way better motorcycle. Tenacious cops. Yeah. I have not had to outrun the, the cops before, so I don't know what the uh, what the trick is if there is one. Oh, looks like you're. There you I'm go. doing there you it. Go. I'm doing it. I'm making it happen. Okay. Go we'll find this mission. I'm not going to punch any more cops. All right. You say so. I do say so. You'll also, uh, you'll, you'll find uh, as you're driving around the world. Oh, no. Not my intent at all. As you're driving around the world, you'll, you'll find uh, race missions at specific locations that you can get into. That are like GPS based. Oh, okay. It's like a, um, like a midnight club type of checkpoint thing or like even just to start the mission what this one is this green spot all about now we're just exploring gonna get some do some open world stuff here that's all yeah deliver some pizzas drive a fire truck not quite okay 
this is a this is a good story mission here. I'm gonna skip this cutscene because it's not gonna make any sense to you without the context. But I like cutscenes. Look, I gotta go do some dirt. You gotta call Ricky, get Johnny's number. Yes, that sounds like dirt. Oh, so this is fun. This is actually kind of one of the the weird, unique, more unique things that I've seen in this game. Um, all right, we'll call Ricky. Ricky, this way. Shit, way. How you holding up? I got a lot of loose ends to clean up. I need an outsider for a couple things. You got Johnny Ratface's number? Johnny Ratface? Man, stay away from that lunatic. You give him a job, you're gonna have to steam clean your conscience when he's done. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know all about him. He's my man. I guess you know what you're doing. Now you can fly. Yeah. Can't talk on the phone with the helmet on. Wait. What are you doing? This is the thing I was talking about with the, the GPS. Oh, God, I just killed that guy with my motorcycle. Well. I am that arrow there yeah. on, the, on the GPS, and I need to get to basically a specific spot here before I can start tracing. Hey, is this, uh, is this Johnny? Yeah. Sent me to you. you can see here, I'm cycling you know I mean? through these different so, areas. Obviously, well, this is where uh -huh. Johnny is. Wait, 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 please, look. I trade diamonds down in Central. My partner took off with all our stock. So I've got these three different cell towers here, yeah. and every time it pings, it's bringing up a number of calls. I cycle between them. I'm just trying to find the one that they all have in common, right? His name is, uh, uh, which happens to be this one. Cho. He lives at one oh. Got you, fucker. That's the only purpose of that phone call. All Trap right. Johnny Ratface. Now we're gonna go and shoot some dudes. All right. See a little uh, a GPS line on your map there. A little yeah. Turn by, turn, turn by turn. And as you can see, I'm ignoring it currently. Yeah. Because I've actually found a better route to this mission. route that I prefer. Get here and Johnny Rat fi faces guys will be all like, what's up? And I'll be like, what's oh, up? Lovely baby, I promise. Are you insane? Uh, again, I'm just going to cut this, this cut scene. Cut cut scene. Yep. Yeah. Stuff happens. Uh, it's it's pretty uh, graphic. It's a, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of, they work blue. Hmm. All right. What do you think about the voice acting and, and some of the stuff in those cut scenes? Uh, I generally like it, you know, I think it's tough with something when you're setting a game in a place like Hong Kong, uh -huh. where, like, if you were going to try and, and be real faithful, everyone would just be speaking Chinese. Right. Uh, instead, it's a lot of kind of, you know, accented English. Right. With a little bit of, of you know, proper Chinese phrasing peppered into it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, Yeah. But I like the voices uh, in general that I've heard so far. Oh wait, you know what I'm gonna do? What? This worked way better the last time too. Run away? Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna flee the scene. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's real good at that. All right, I gotta fight these guys. Uh huh. So that's a good start. Yeah. I'm gonna do this for a little bit. Ah. I'm oh. gonna get out through the windshield. That's pretty awesome. Cause why not? Yeah. We'll do one of these. That's oh, that's oh, yeah, oh. engine block on the torso. That sucks. Yeah. That would be a bad way to die. Is that a crowbar over there? Yeah, definitely a certain focus on, on melee fighting and, and melee weapons like the crowbar, the knives. Grab this guy, I'm gonna throw him in my trunk. Big guys like this can block a bunch and so you gotta find your counters. Alright. Move on. Okay. This dude know those girls from the one bad club? Yeah, why? The one that wants to be an actress? 
Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it's that like that. Yeah, it's 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 Yeah. Old B, what does that do? On the steel. You see, you can pick these guys up off the ground. If you want to pull them up and uh, do an environmental attack. Okay. The knife. Not a fan. Yep. That guy's leg is pretty much done, so. Yeah. Combat's not super fluid. It's definitely a, kind of a, a, a little, little jerky, start-stop kind of feel to to some of the the melee stuff. Getting into some shooting, mm. shooting a lot of you know kind of deliberate hey, you. spray. So not all your all your you are not a consummate marksman necessarily. Okay. But I did just steal that guy's gun. I gotta hide. Gotta hide. More so once I get a uh, machine weapon. Uh, pretty good with the, with the heater. He's handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Just how to earn his key. Um, yeah, that's a different. That's the same gun I have. All right, whatever. It's really the weapon I'm more interested in. Alrighty. A little bit of color separation when you get shot. Yeah. How's the shooting feel? The aim and whatnot. It's it's kind of that that deliberately inaccurate thing. Yeah, because you know I noticed like there's no. Like recoil on your aim as you shoot. You say it's pretty locked down to where he's pointed. Definitely. But the the bullets just don't necessarily hit where you're pointing. All pointed. the time. <laughs> Which I guess is is the trade-off. It's a style. Yeah. Come on. Yep. So you you talk about uh. Get back here. Buying moves. Oh, did I say something about that or did I make that up? I did not say anything about that. Yeah. Well, is there any kind of character progression or upgrade system in place before you can get more moves? Uh, you know, not in the parts that I've seen, but it okay. was it was the kind of the early parts, and then I've jumped ahead here to the, the midsection here, uh -huh. which uh, which has its own build kind of in place. Yeah, yeah. Comes with the this preview build. Shoot that car until it blows up. That looks pretty good. That's a pretty good explosion. Yeah. I'll give you that. Guy fell over the edge. Nope, that's not a door. Okay. All right. Beat Johnny's back up. How I believe these check do they checkpoint these missions if you uh, fail? Uh, not heavily, in my experience. Okay. All right. Really did a number on that car.
kind of weird that all the shooting is slow motion like that, but I guess it is always so hard to shoot and drive in these games. I think that's that, that crazy meter, my gold meter there on the oh, oh, okay, on the right okay. is being... Who's still driving you? But it looks cool. Oh sure. shit. Cool. And yeah, the you know, driving and shooting is not fun in most games. Right. Why, you know, Lucky Wild. Rare uh, It's because they knew to make it a two player game. Yeah. Action hijack. Hijack. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, I had it. Right behind him. Where'd he go? Balls. There you go, there you go. All right. wants to serve you some noodles. What? You crazy? Look, man, I got powerful friends. Well, <laughs> who would that be? They gonna kill you. <laughs> they gonna kill you. So, you know, it, it's a, it is a open world criminal action game. It's got some, some little specific pieces of flash to it that are, are, are pretty cool. It still seems like it has a certain amount of rough edges, but again, this is a pre-release version of the game. Uh, Winston's couldn't mother. tell you, you know, at what point in development this is, though the game is coming out soon. Yeah. And this, uh, this guy told you. This lady's going to do some bad, bad stuff to this guy. How much of it did they show? I don't know what you're talking about, you uh, Earlier I saw a guy catch a cleaver to the face. Okay. Just right in the, right in the face. It was one of the earliest scenes in the game, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Just please, don't! Ah! Oh, we're gonna get some good sound effects. Yeah. Right. Fair enough. You know, in some ways, Jeff, it is a, a modern goddamn miracle that uh, that this game is coming out at all. Yeah. Go to upgrades. Go look at our upgrades here. All right, yeah. Okay. So I got triad upgrades and I got cop upgrades. I got my melee training, so we got you know new moves. You get face advantages Ooh. as you uh, as you unlock. So health upgrades as well. Go up the face advantages and slow down a little bit. Let's see what some of those okay. are. What, are what, what do you get? All right, let's see here for hella face. Regenerative effects of all food items last twice as long. Herbal tea is twice as potent. Energy drinks are fifty percent more effective. That sounds all right. Uh, when the face meter is activated, we can disarm melee weapons by grappling or countering an enemy. A lackey will bring you your car anytime, okay, anywhere. Yeah, so stuff like that. Okay. And melee training. I get you. So more, more moves. Yeah. For the melee action, because it starts off pretty simple, but you know this looks like it could get uh, get a little deeper. Counter strike resistance, rising kick, melee weapon resistance. And so, you know, as you saw, I've got my my discrete cop levels and my discrete right. triad yeah, levels yeah. Uh, for you to, to worry about. So, you know, some multiple upgrade yeah. systems to, to think about. Seems like some interesting systems. And yeah, abs absolutely. It seems like there's definitely some interesting stuff at work here. And, uh, oh, I don't know what happened to my... Well, I guess I wouldn't have my sweet track pants in this save. Yeah. yeah I've just got my bloody jacket. Yeah. So this is coming out, uh, as I said earlier, damn soon. August 14th for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Yeah, I'm, be, uh, I'm curious to see what the final version ends up looking like. I don't know. A lot of it looks fairly standard, but there's definitely some, some neat little hooks in there. 
Yeah, but yeah, it's it's a matter of how how well you know how well the it, it capitalizes on execution on that stuff. Yeah. So we'll see soon enough. Jeff, thanks for looking to Sleeping Dogs with me. Anytime. Oh, jeez. Oh. 